Hello everybody, this is Mason Alt with another Java tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be about how to get a Dropbox account created, create a public folder in that Dropbox account, and then get your website going for your Java application um, or applet. So let's go ahead. Um, first thing we need to do is we need to go to dropbox.com. At dropbox.com, um, we're going to create a new account. So again, to show you guys what you'll see right here. You're going to hit sign up. Go ahead and type in your first name, your last name, your email, and then a password. Agree to the terms, click sign up. Go ahead and click on the basic plan. Um, you don't need to download it, right, so if that when that pops up, just hit cancel. Um, now that you're all good to go, um, go ahead and up here at the top right, click on your name. Um, I'm doing this completely from scratch, so just give me one quick second. Go ahead and then just go back to dropbox.com from there. Um, we don't need to get started. I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. So. Um, then once you go to dropbox.com, click on files right up here. All right. Now what we're going to do is if you go to um, D2L real quick and go to the discussion board. Um, so you know, introduction to program of Java, communications, discussions. Um, then scroll down to cool Java resources. Click on that. And then as per request, how to um, use public folder in Dropbox is probably how you got here. Go ahead and click on this link right here. It's dropbox.com slash enable underscore public underscore folder. Alrighty, so now you click on that link. It should bring you to here. Click enable public folder. And it'll tell you that, hey, we need to verify your email address. So go ahead and go to your email real quick that you use to sign up. And uh, if they didn't send you an email, just go ahead and click send email right there. And wait for your email. There we go. And then hit verify your email. Thanks for verifying email address. You can now enable the public folder um, for your admin at whatever your email is, Dropbox. So um, go ahead and click on enable public folder again. Boom. So public folder is now enabled. Um, Let's see here. It should. If you click on Dropbox at the top, that'll bring kind of your root directory of your Dropbox. You see, you have a, a public folder inside of Dropbox. So go ahead and click on that. Anything you put in here, you can share it, and it will um, be available to anybody as long as they have the link. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean it up. I'm gonna delete this. How to use your public folder? Because I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, now let's go ahead and we're going to want to upload our a project to it. So um, go ahead and wherever you put all your jcreator stuff, um, go ahead and browse that real quick. Put it on a flash drive, plug in your flash drive, get it going, whatever. Um, so then you'll see you know, I've got my, my, my large list. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll do the traffic light uh, project. So go ahead and open up Traffic Light, then open up Classes. Okay, anything in this Classes needs to go over here. Well, um, if you're using Google Chrome, you can just drag and drop. But before we do that, we want to create a new folder in here. We're just going to name it whatever is a good naming convention for you. I'm just going to call it Traffic Light. This way, I, you know, I don't, you don't have to do this, but I like to because it organizes everything. Go ahead and open up that folder now. Um, so like I said, if you're using um, Google Chrome, you can drag it and drop it, and it'll work. If you're using anything else other than Google Chrome, which shame on you because Google Chrome's awesome, um, you go ahead and we're go I'll show you a different way to do it. So I'm going to delete these just to show you. Um, so the way you do it is up here, you kind of have your little taskbar. Um, you're going to click Upload. Um, you're going to choose files. 
and then you're going to get your Windows browser here. Um, so you're going to want to browse to where you're going, go to classes. And then what you can do is you can click, you know, highlight everything in here. So you want to highlight everything. If you, for whatever reason, can't do this, um, you can hold down Control and click on them individually. And you'll, when you hold down Control and click, it'll just select everything that you clicked. Um, otherwise, you can hold down Control and hit A. There's a hundred different ways to select everything inside of your classes folder. Then you're going to hit open. Okay, and you'll see it'll upload, upload, and you hit done. Boom. Now you have your two files in here. So now you're going to right click the, as you can see, you might have some images in here, you might have some music files in here. Um, whatever was in your classes folder should be in here. Um, you're going to want to find whatever your J applet name was .htm. Okay, it should have these little squirrely brackets inside of the the uh, little side page thing here because that means it has code in it um, that it can read at least. So you're gonna want to right click this. So we'll just right click that file. If you have like, let's say you have multiple files selected right here, and you right click, you're gonna get a very shortened um, drop down box when you right click. So make sure that when you right click, nothing is highlighted. Just right click the .htmm, you'll get a much larger drop down thing. Copy public link here. You can uh, hit copy to clipboard. Um, and then open up a new tab. Make sure it works. Right click you're up in your browser and go to paste. Alright, and then just you know go to it, hit enter. And then if you already set up your security settings right, you just hit run. And boom, you sh it should be working just fine. Um, so, like I said, I kind of went through everything that you could possibly go wrong. Um, so just, like I said, you don't have to necessarily make more folders inside of your public folder. Um, but, like I said, if you want to keep things organized, or let's say, for example, I have, let's, let's go to a, one of my other, let's go to temperature conversion. Let's say, see I have this background.jpg right here inside of my temperature conversion classes folder. Well, what, well let's say I had a background.jpg in a different workspace. And let's say there were two different completely looking files. Like, you know, obviously my background for my temperature conversion is going to have thermometers. Well, let's say I had a, a background for um, the, the, the light or the traffic light. Um, project and that one had you know a road on it and stuff like that obviously they're called the same thing but they're two different completely different files so if you had a background.jpg in here and then you had another background.jpg in here it's not going to know which one to use um, so you're going to want to like I said if you want to keep it nice and clean just create folders in here again a new folder button up here so I don't know temperature conversion boom creates the folder go ahead and click on it and again inside of the temperature conversion classes you just um, you know if you have Google Chrome you can highlight everything and just drag it over if not you just hit this upload button here choose your files um, go to temperature conversion classes again highlight everything in there hit open wait for it to upload boom 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 done Make sure you're not, you know, make sure you don't have multiple things highlighted. So just click somewhere in the white space, right click your .htm file, copy public link, copy to clipboard, boom, and there you go. So if you have any questions, um, I hope this is pretty straight to the point. Um, go ahead and email me or whatever, um, and I will try to help you out as best I can.